We got a guest from Miller Park. It's Eric Kratz, uh, who's done a wonderful job this postseason catching for the Brew Crew. Eric, it's Kevin Burkhart and the rest of our crew, and congratulations on a Game 6 win. And just have to ask, you know, here David Freeze, we were just talking about, hits a home run first batter, and, you know, the crowd obviously gets quiet. How important for you guys to respond immediately the way you did? I mean, it's important, but, you know, we talked about it, that there's obviously going to be urgency in this game. You know, if, if you say there's not urgency in the game, you're lying. And, you know, just to realize that there's going to be urgency, everyone just put together their at-bats. You know what? We did a lot with two outs in that inning. The crowd kind of fueled us through that. And, you know, while it was quiet after he hit the home run, that's a really good hitter. You know, it was a really good hitter, got a pitch that was out over the plate, and, you know, you got to tip your cap to him. But I think Aggie's at-bat was, was huge, and it just kind of, you know, catapulted us to a couple more runs. Eric, how you doing? Congrats on the win today. Alex Rodriguez here. You've done such a phenomenal job with the staff. I I I'm interested in your hitting. I've been so impressed with how you've played little baseball, kept it small, and big things are happening. Is that something you're trying to do, go the other way? Is that something you're thinking about? Absolutely. Uh, you know, nobody's gonna, nobody on the Dodgers side is going to sit there and make the game plan to make sure Kratz doesn't beat us. Um, you know, they're going to game plan for – the other guys so I really have to do a good job of just not doing too much something that you know something I heard somebody that had a little bit of playoff experience say if you do more in the playoffs you get less if you do less you get more so it's something that I, I really kind of taken taken to heart and you know I'm just trying to put the barrel on the ball and you know not take not try to do too much everybody wants to hit a homer in that situation and maybe that'll come but not because you're trying to do it. E.K., what's up, Papa? Big Papi right here, man. How you doing? Congratulations on the win tonight. Very Gracias. excited, man. Hey, Gracias. listen, we compete a lot against each other, and you are a trooper, man. I love the way you go by the business. How comfortable you feel <laughs> about your bullpen for tomorrow game? Well, Poppy, do you remember that we were actually teammates? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we did, of course. It was you for know. two days, Poppy. For, for two, two days. days. I didn't play it, any games. Does that count? For two days. It's okay. It's okay. It counts. It counts. I got my jersey. You got it, baby. No, we're, no seriously, though. We are, we are really, we're really, really thankful to have these guys. But not one of these guys is, is the guy that we lean on. And it's something with our bullpen. What, what Burnsy did tonight, you know, he's still available for tomorrow. So it gives us an opportunity to be confident with, with every guy. No, you know, we're not throwing a guy out there saying, I don't know, you know, I don't, I don't think this guy's going to get the job done. You know, we better have somebody else ready. Everybody has an opportunity to help this team, and we've used everybody, and that's, that's an incredible thing that, that we can lean on as an entire group. Eric Kratz, Frank Thomas here. You've been around the game a long time now. Have you ever caught a staff? Yep that can throw like this and can locate like this? I've never seen anything like it in my 20, 30 years in Major League Baseball. In, in, the, in the bullpen, no, not, not as consistent in the bullpen. I, I caught a couple pretty decent starters uh, when I was in Philly, and me and Frank, actually, we were in uh, big league camp together a couple times, so <laughs> if Frank forgot that, that's okay. <laughs> I didn't want to single, single just poppy out there, but uh, no, these guys... These guys are doing these guys are doing stuff that is they make it look simple, but okay. as you know, as baseball as baseball will show you, the game isn't simple and what they're doing is is absolutely incredible. Their ability to throw to four quadrants of the strike zone, not just okay, well this is just our one wipeout pitch and they're able to attack the different quadrants of the zone, which makes game planning so much easier. Eric, just one last one. We thanks for you. thank you for the time. Uh, this is awesome. And, and just a quick aside, yeah. Poppy's been working with us for two years. He doesn't know our name. So, <laughs> so don't, don't feel bad That's about right. that. It's really, That's right, Bill. It's, 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 That's <laughs> right, Bill. It's, it's, it's no problem. <laughs> it's no problem, Kevin. I, I, never played, I never played with you, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> or Kyle, whatever, whatever I, Poppy's calling I, you. I thought you were working on the front office when you came to the Red Sox because you worked for two days. Never saw you playing, that's why. <laughs> I was there, yeah. If you would have seen me play, you would have been like, yeah, you're definitely a front office I guy. I thought it wasn't a spy or something. <laughs> uh, hey, Eric, yeah. listen. I love you, brother. Keep, keep yeah, enjoying no yourself. Keep playing well. Thank Best you, of Papa. luck in Game 7, okay? Thanks. Good luck, Eric. Thank you very much, guys.